guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my BoxyCharm unboxing for April. I love filming these videos. If you've never seen one before, I uh, the way I do them is I look in the box and I see what products are in there so I know what to put on my face and then I like go from there. But I like haven't tried any of the products. I just know what's in here. So yeah, let's jump into it. So when you open the box, you see this and there's this little card and I'm assuming this must be like the product card so oh and they give you a discount so it says there's 10% off to Tarte on Tarte.com and the code is April Boxy all right so this box actually has a skincare product which is why I have absolutely nothing on my face um so this is pores no more vacuum cleaner and it's by dr brandt i love this skincare brand um boxy charm has had like this skincare brand in their boxes before i know that there was one a while back and it was some sort of skincare product and then a few months ago there was the um pores no more like primer the luminous primer so and i really like that so i'm excited to try this um so yeah this is the pores no more vacuum cleaner pore purifying mask by dr brandt Let's see what the card says. Oh, this is so cute. It like folds open. Adorable. So this says, this award-winning pore refining mask is an extraction specialist, unclogging and tightening the look of pores and reducing excess oil from the skin's surface. This is full size and it retails for $47, which is real expensive. So oily combination skin. I have like dry to oily skin so I might just use this on like my problem areas so I don't go crazy because my face has been kind of dry lately like on my cheeks and stuff so I might just use this on my problem areas. Um, so it says after cleansing apply a thin layer to areas of concern avoid eyes leave on five to ten minutes until dry a cooling sensation will occur rinse with warm water and pat dry use two to three times per week for maximum results. Let's try this out. It smells like refreshing, kind of, but like also a little bit strange. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna put this on my cheeks. Oh, there's like blue. Can you see that? It has like little beads in it that turn blue when you rub it in. Put it on my nose too. My mirror is way back there, sorry. I'm just gonna look over here. Are you supposed to rub it in until it's dry? No, leave it on until it's dry. I'm gonna put a little bit on my forehead too. I don't wanna use a lot, I'm like a little bit scared. This is gonna be super dry, but I stained my fingers blue. Can you see that? Okay, I'm gonna use a little bit more and just put it on my chin because I got some pores down there. I do like the texture of this and it does feel very cooling on the skin. It feels nice. I feel like it dries kind of fast though. It's like drying on my hands but. Okay so this is on my face so I'm gonna let this dry for five to ten minutes and then rinse it off and we'll see how I feel about it after that. So far it feels really nice, it's very cooling. Um, and yeah, I like it so far. So we'll see how I feel when it's off my face. So I'll be back in 10 minutes. Okay, so I washed off the mask. Um, my face feels soft for sure. And I think it was like when I washed it off before, it was like settling into my pores I think. So I'm wondering if that's like a sign that it's working, I don't know. But yeah, my face feels like a little bit tight so I can definitely see that it would be drying um which is fine for like my t-zone but anywhere else eh, it might be a little bit too drying but I do like it I kind of a like funky smell when I washed it off like it wasn't my favorite smell in the world but the actual like mask when I put it on smelled really good and it was nice and cooling on the skin and even now my face is like cool and tingly and it feels feels nice so yeah I'm definitely gonna keep trying this um after a one-time use, I'd give it like an 8 or a 9 out of 10. Um, yeah. 
So the rest of the products in the box are all makeup. So I'm going to do my foundation and my bronzer and all that stuff. Um, and then I will be back to do the rest of the box. So see you in a bit. Okay, so it's been like a solid four or five hours. I went to dinner at my parents. And now I'm having wine. And I'm in a sweater. And we're pretty casual. Um, my face is on, so that's exciting. So we can like carry on now that I've had my wine and my food and I'm happy. Okay, so I think the next thing that I want to try is uh, this. This is the this is the Brow Gal um, Brow Gel, Tinted Brow Gel. It says, the Brow Gal Instant Tinted Eyebrow Gel. Tinted eyebrow gel with microfibers to achieve a natural hair look. Perfect for the customer who wants a quick but natural fill to their brows. And this is a full-size product and it retails for $22. So just this alone. And you're paid for your box. So that's cool. I'm hoping that this isn't too dark for me. But it might be. Let's see. Maybe I can get it open. I'm going to take an Instagram story. Because why not? Okay, anyway, back to what I was doing. Um, this says it's light hair 03. So obviously I have my brows filled in, but I don't have any gel in them. So let's see how this works. It's actually like a good shade for me, I think. I honestly never use brow gels, so I don't really know what I'm looking for because I just never use them. But I mean, I guess if it makes your brows look like full and makes them not move, then that's good. Honestly, my lazy girl hack is spray hairspray on a brow brush and just brush it through your brows and it works the exact same if you don't want to go buy brow gel. Pro tip. This is like nice though. I think I like it. This gives your brows a lot of volume, I feel like. Like, I can brush them up and they can look wild. Okay. So it matches my brows. Look how cute this little baby wand is. That's so cute. I love it. <laughs> okay, so judging by I never use brow gels, I think I like this. Gets my vote. If you need a brow gel and you have sort of light eyebrows, then this is for you. It definitely, I feel like, wouldn't work if you had really dark eyebrows because it like looks good on mine and I have like no eyebrows. Okay, the next thing I wanna try is, I think I wanna do the eyeshadow. I just feel like it's time. Stay thirsty. All right, so this is the My Little Pony with ColourPop eyeshadow palette and I am pumped for this because ColourPop is like bomb.com. Like they're at Sephora and they're in our box. How cool is that? It's pretty cool. So this says, explore the palette inspired by their colorful personalities and magical cutie marks. It's a little weird, but we'll go with it. From shimmery glitters away. My Little Pony, the ones, they have hearts like on their butts. And that's what this, that's a cutie mark. Okay, okay. It's from shimmery glitters to wearable mattes to bright pops of color and surprising iridescence. You can imagine the looks you'll create with this little palette. Friendship is magic when you're friends with the sparkly crew. How cute. Okay, this is a full-size product, as always, and it retails for $16. It's actually not bad. ColourPop's pretty affordable, though, which is nice. Okay, so this is what the front looks like. It's very My Little Pony inspired. <laughs> This is cute though. And all the names of the shadows and whatnot are on the back, so that's nice. And you open it up, and it looks like this. This is super pretty. I love this. I feel like these shades are like, there's how many shimmers? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven shimmers, and one, two. Well, like shimmers, velvety, like smooth shades, and then there's a couple matte shades. I'm excited. My only complaint, and I've never had a ColourPop palette, so maybe this is like normal, but it doesn't have a mirror. And like mirror palettes or mirrors on palettes aren't always that great, but like it's nice to just have it if you're like traveling and you don't want to bring like this. So to make this video not 5,000 years long, I'm going to zoom you in and just like point to each shadow as I use it and uh, go from there. Okay.
like a lot of fallout my face has like blue on it down here so I would recommend just like doing your face after your eyes if you're gonna use this palette um, and the only shade I didn't like is this like darkish black one you'll see it in like the clip of me doing it, it like wasn't very pigmented it didn't really make me that excited but the shimmer shades are crazy pigmented um, I used all of them except these two up here, and I'm sure they're just as good as all the colors. Um, this is perfect for like a festival eyeshadow if you're like going to a festival or something cool like that. I would recommend this. Okay, so the next thing I want to try is this. Okay, so first of all, how cool is it that there's Tarte in the box? Because Tarte's like a really popular brand and it's in the box, which is super cool. So let's open it. So it's this bad boy right here. This is cute. So this is the TARDIS Pro Glow. And I've heard mixed reviews on this. Some people have said it's like super glittery and like not their thing. So we'll see. Come on camera, focus on my face. Hi. Okay. So this says the, where is it? TARDIS Pro Glow Liquid Highlighter. Glow like a glo glottis. Okay. Grow like a goddess. Glow like a goddess. <laughs> it builds from sheer to intense. Ultra concentrated pigments and pearls are suspended in the hybrid gel cream. Oil free formula that you can mix with your liquid foundation. Ooh, I should have done that. I bet I would like that. I'm going to do that next time. Or wear alone for naturally lit luminosity. It's infused with rose water and it slips softly onto skin and keeps your moisture in. This is a full-size product and it retails for $29 and I got the shade Stunner. I think there's three shades that you could have gotten, but I got Stunner. So I guess I'm just going to squeeze some on my hand and we're going to go for it. I'm a little bit nervous. I don't know. This texture is like, I feel like I got way too, oh, it's, okay. 
It's like jelly. I got way too much. Oh God. Okay. We're just going to go for it. Fan of the finger application whatsoever. Um, maybe it's because there's blue on my face from the eyeshadows, I guess. I don't know, it's pretty, but it's like super just like harsh. Try the other cheek. Okay, this definitely is not natural whatsoever. This is like, <laughs> I put so much on my nose. It looks so stupid. Okay. Um, I don't know about this. This is definitely something I need to play with some more, I think, maybe. Okay, don't use it on your nose. <laughs> like, seriously, can you see my nose? Okay, I need like powder to tone this down. This looks so dumb. I'm trying to like blend this out with a brush. A little bit. And maybe it would look better. This is my highlight brush, so maybe this will like chill it out a little bit. Alright. I don't think it helps that I have blue on my face because it's making me look like I'm bruised. So now that it's blended out, I like don't, I don't hate it. It just needed to be, also this mountain appeared on my face last night and it's super not cute. But once you blend it out, like you can see it does give a nice glow for sure. But like over here, you can see the blue where the eyeshadow is and it like makes me look like I got punched in the face. Do I think it's worth $22? Eh. Is that how much it was? No, $29. I do not think it's worth $29. I think if I play around with this some more, maybe it'll grow on me. And I want to try mixing it into my foundation, but it's like super intense. You would need like the tiniest, tiniest little drop in your foundation and you'd be like good to go. Okay, the last thing in the box is this a lipstick. And this is by... A desk and it's their high definition liquid lipstick and I'm pretty excited don't even know what shade it is maybe I should have looked before I did my eyes this crazy crazy color yeah it doesn't go at all but that's okay okay so this is the Adest high definition liquid lipstick it says luxurious creamy long-wearing liquid lipstick provides the dazzling full coverage of a liquid lipstick with the ease of wand applicator Made with advanced polymers and intense pigments for long-lasting, brilliant color and intense shine. It's gluten-free, paraben-free, cruelty-free, and EU-compliant. And I don't know what EU-compliant means, but I think it's probably a good thing. And this retails for $24, and this is in the shade... I don't know. I don't know what shade this is in. Maybe they just have one shade? I don't know. But let's try it. Okay, I'm going to zoom you in a little bit for this. It's really pretty, though. I like it. And the wand is, woo, just like a normal liquid lipstick wand. Ooh, pretty color. It's sticky, but it's like comfortable sticky. If that makes any sense whatsoever. Oh my god. Oh, this smells so bomb. I'm a fan of the lipstick. It's like sticky, like kind of like a lip gloss, but it just feels like it'll last forever. Let's do the, I'm sure it'll come off a little bit just because it's so sticky, but I feel like it's that kind of sticky where even if it gets on stuff, it'll like stay on your lips. I don't know. That doesn't make sense, but you know what I mean? <laughs> 
yeah, like it comes off, clearly, but like, it's still on my lips. Okay guys, so that's it for this video. Um, the total value of this box is $130, which is cray cray because you pay $21 and I literally can't recommend this enough. It's my absolute favorite subscription box ever and the link's down below as always if you want to check them out and get your own box. Um, I seriously recommend it. I don't think there's a wait list right now and there usually is. So check it out. Um, I liked this month's box. I think my favorites were the palette and the lipstick. Um, and I actually really like this brow gel too. I just don't use brow gel a lot, but like I think I like it. And then the face mask. I really like after the first try, but I like to try face masks multiple times before you can like really tell how they work. But I did notice my pores look like smooth and nice, and I think it worked. So I'm excited to see how it looks like after more tries. And then this highlighter, I don't hate it by any means, but I think I just need to mess around with it some more and like figure out how I best want to use it. Like if I want to mix it into my foundation or if I like it as a highlighter. I also bet it would be really pretty as an eyeshadow for like a cut crease. Oh my god, yeah, that would be so pretty. My next video, I'll do that. Thumbs up if you want to see a cut crease with this because I want to film one and yeah. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will see you all in my next video. Be sure to check out my Instagram. I'll leave the link below. As always, I'm pretty active on there. Um, I try to be. And then be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and want to see more videos. Subscribe to my channel. I put out videos every Sunday. Unless there's, like, an extra video like this one. And I put out more than just Sunday. So, yeah, it's a good time. Um, also be sure to check out my blog post. I usually correlate my blog post with my videos, so there will be a blog post about this video and all the products if you'd rather, like, read instead of watch, even though you've already watched this video, so. Yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys!